Yeah, yeah, I had a couple of big breaks. Okay. Like, um, after a week, it hit an algorithm and it just blew up. Yeah. You yourself are actually a wrestler, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. I kind of needed to take a leap early and I wasn't ready. I was just really lucky. You're sort of making an income from both of them. Then. I make double the amount on the wrestling channel than I do on the No way. And then one day I thought I broke a neck. Well, welcome to a haircut with me. Thank you very much yeah. for having me. <laughs> Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a haircut with Omega Luke. Brilliant. Right. Am I saying that right? Omega? Omega. Omega. Yeah. yeah. I'll go with either to be fair. Yeah, yeah. got a lot worse. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> so you've got a few channels then, haven't you? Got a couple. Yeah, yeah. you've got a couple. So the first one you started, is is that like self-titled, just Omega Luke? Yeah, so it started off doing like um, football manager stuff. Right. I used to do a lot of wrestling uh, podcasts and YouTube stuff from that. So yeah. I had an old channel where I just basically learned how to do it really. Okay. Um, and then started up a new one to do football manager stuff. Yeah. It kind of took on from there really. So yeah. Yeah, because how many has that one got now? It must have like 30, 35,000. 35,000 yeah, subscribers? Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a big. That's big crazy, that isn't it? Yeah. Um, and you started that one, was it 2019? Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Not long ago. That's a big. That's a big growth, that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I had some big breaks. You did? Yeah, yeah, I had a couple of big breaks. Okay. I like, uh, start off, I did, uh, I started working on a channel which is on the same size as what I'm on now. Right. 35,000, when I, when I had less than 100 subs. Yeah. Um, just to do like videos for them. Yeah. But from that, obviously, people came across, which kind of like bump started me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and then from that, then it was just a case of every time the new game came out, doing what I could to try and just grow from that. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned the wrestling there as well. Yeah. So you, you've got a second channel, haven't you? Yeah. And that is that one predominantly just like WWE? Yeah, so it started off where I like used to do Twitch streams for Foot Manager. I used to just basically chop it off and put it on that channel. Yeah. Just for people who couldn't watch live. Right. And then I had a Facebook contract which started in uh, November. Okay. And they cancelled it um, in March. Right. But I started doing videos for the new WWE game. Yeah. And I was enjoying it, so I thought I'm just going to keep doing videos on it and put it on the second channel because it just become monetized. Oh wow. And then I only had a thousand subs on it, and then all of a sudden, like, I had a video just blow up, and then the next video was better than that one, then the next one was better than that one, and then. Uh, I mean, that was two months ago now, and I'm at 10,000 subs on that one. So no that way. was very quick growth on that one. That's, that's insane. Yeah. So when did you start your first one? 2019. 19. Yeah. So was that pandemic? Did you Just start? before it. Just 2020 before. 2020 was pandemic, yeah. 2020, of course it was. So did, did you find the pandemic, did that help? It massively help. Because everyone was yeah. just at home. Yeah. And I felt like also I didn't capitalize on it. Okay. Because I was still working for this other channel. Right. And we like doubled the amount of subs on that channel during the pandemic. And then two months in the pandemic, I left. And I started, right. I just carried on doing my own, my own channel, which was only at like 2,000 subs. Yeah. But I always think back like, I wonder what if I did those videos on my own. Yeah whether I would have seen the growth because there were certain channels there's a guy called Zealand who's like he's got 160 170 thousand subs now wow and at the time like he would, he was brand new yeah but during the pandemic he just blew up That's and crazy. I always think like what if I did that yeah but I still made them up I still did a, a good amount of growth in the pandemic just nowhere yeah. near what I could have the amount of channels that have just completely from nowhere. yeah they just blew up out of nowhere i mean i suppose probably one of the biggest ones that that's done that is tommy in it yes have you heard you know yeah, tommy the minecraft in guy yeah, yeah the minecraft guy i mean his his sub count i think i think he was at like fairly decent level anyway maybe yeah. he's just uh, just underneath a hundred thousand yeah but within like a couple of months he millions. was on like millions <laughs> yeah. and millions i mean that is just something else isn't exactly it? yeah another one's erak you ever heard of erak I am Huge. such a big fan of Eric. Yeah, it's unreal. Really Me really and my good. girlfriend sit and watch every video he brings yeah, he's up. he's brilliant. He's, he's so brilliant. good. But he only started in 2020. Yeah. Right before the pandemic. Yeah. Now he's like knocking on, well, he's just gone on a 5 million, is it? Something like that? I think, I think he's knocking on 5 million, but... Every he, video he gets is more than his subs count, though. Yeah. Which is impressive. It is. 
So do you find that like, so say they've got, because I play a lot of Call of Duty Warzone. Yeah. And whenever I see that sort of content online, I, I can always tell there's always trends on the go there. So yeah. they've always got that like, I don't know if you've seen it, do you know, it's like William Knife Man. Woo! Yeah, yeah, that? yeah. <laughs> that was the worst impression of that going. <laughs> William Knife Man. <laughs> <laughs> But he seems to be in like every video, along with like a load of other mini clips that people slot in. Yeah. So do you find that like adhering to those trends that are on the go help? 100%. Or they, they do help. Yeah, you don't yeah. think you need to like find the different sort of... No, I mean, finding a niche is great. That's never been done. But yeah. it's also the hardest thing ever, trying yeah. to find something that hasn't been done. Yeah. Uh, I found one thing on Football Manager, which is probably the reason why I'm at 30K now. Right. Because I was only at about... 15,000, so it's, it's pretty much doubled my subs when I started doing a rebuild concept, which is basically right. a concept which I took from other games okay. that I watch on YouTube, but nobody was doing on Football Manager. Right. Um, and then the first video I did of that, I, I, I kind of struck two birds with one stone, really, because yeah. I basically did it on Harry Kane leaving Tottenham Hotspur right. right after the Euros, which was quite a popular topic in the world of sport anyway. Yeah. And then I made a rebuild concept on it, and I brought my dad on, who's a Spurs fan. Yeah. And it was like a big amalgamation of all three things. And at first the video did really well. And then after a week it hit an algorithm and it just blew up. And it yeah. was like, it went from having like 10,000 views to like 20,000 in a day. The next day it was 30,000. And it was just gaining so many views each time, which I've never seen before on my yeah. channel. And then it was almost like, right, well, okay, we need to continue doing this. It's like a, a weekly thing, really. Has yeah. he been spotted? like out and about. Oh really? Yeah. He's been recognized. Yeah, Have you but... been recognized as well? No. No. <laughs> Depends on it. Yeah. Somebody asked you this because but... he got spotted down the range last week. No. <laughs> and somebody was like, oh, how can you have been spotted? I was like, probably because he leaves the house and I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously we spoke about the, uh, you know, you've got a wrestling channel and everything, but yeah. you yourself are actually a wrestler, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. I've watched, because, is it your, ch I couldn't work out, is Reach your channel? So, no, but I kind of manage it as per se. So, right. our coach who owns the channel as, yeah. as the company, um, he doesn't really know a lot about YouTube or anything like that. So, yeah. they had a YouTube channel when I joined anyway. Okay. Um, and when the lockdown happened, we sort of said, why don't we start doing tapings because we couldn't do live shows. Right. Um, I basically offered to record, edit, and put it up, yeah. the thumbnail, all of that kind of YouTube stuff for it. Um, which is what I still kind of do, but I don't do the recording and editing anymore. Right. We've got a guy who's just far better. Yeah. Um, and that's obviously brilliant for the, the videos itself. Yeah. Um, I still do the thumbnail and still like upload it, title it and all of that. So yeah, I just basically manage the channel really. Yeah. Is, is wrestling something you've always wanted to do? Because I, I watched your, I, I actually think it was your, it was during the pandemic and it was on uh, Reach's channel. Yeah. I think it was your debut match. Oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I watched, I watched that one. It's well good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's always something that I've watched and enjoyed. Yeah. But I was always a football guy growing up. Right. So I played football Saturday, Sunday, and then because there was like, I never heard of any like schools around for wrestling. Yeah. And I don't think there was any really. No. There was a couple of local ones in like Torquay or Exeter, but nothing in Plymouth. And I'm too lazy to go drive up there for, for a train session. It's a trek though, isn't it? From yeah, here, exactly. Yeah. So in, in, it wasn't until like the Reach Wrestling School opened that I was like, oh, I'd love to try that one. Yeah. And then uh, a couple of my friends also wanted to do it. So when they had an open day, two weeks in a row, we were supposed to go the first week, but then I had kidney stones. No way. Yeah, so I was in hospital messaging the coach. I'm so sorry, but I have kidney stones. And he thought it was just me having an excuse. <laughs> Because I worked with them before. When I yeah. did like a, a wrestling podcast, I'd interviewed them. So I'd right. spoken to them, I knew them quite well. And there was a case of like, yeah, I'll be there. And then I wasn't. <laughs> no way. So he just thought I, I bottled it. You thought you bottled it, yeah. yeah. But the next weekend I went and I still had the kidney stones, but obviously I wasn't in hospital. Mm -hmm. And it's the hardest cardio I've ever had to do. I was thrown up. Really? Yeah. I'd, I had the, the most painful pee I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Is that because the, the costumes are so stems. tight as well? Yeah. <laughs> so, you're in a position that so many people wouldn't want to be in though, aren't yeah. you? You're a full-time content creator. Yeah. What was that feeling like when you first were like, do you know what? I, 
I can do this full time. It was it was amazing, um, but it, it started off being part time. Right. And it wasn't a case of like, oh, I'm ready. It was a case of I'm running out of time. So uh -huh. my wife was pregnant, and I knew how much time it took up with one kid. Right. And how much of a struggle it was to do my videos then, whilst working a full time job and having a child. Yeah. And I was thinking, I ain't gonna ever have the time with a second. It's just right. not going to be possible. Yeah. So I kind of needed to take a leap early and I wasn't ready. I was just really lucky. So right. I found a part-time job and my, my channel was doing okay. Yeah. But it was, I was in my head like, oh, I'm going to tell the wife I can do it. But in my head, I'm, I don't know whether I can. <laughs> uh, generally, really? Yeah. And so I found a part-time job delivering for Asda. Yeah. Um, videos are still doing well and everything. And then three weeks into that job, I got offered a full-time Facebook contract, right. which was going to pay me the same amount of money that I did at my full-time job. No way. So ultimately, I could quit Asda right. within three weeks. So that within allowed three me... weeks of starting there? Yeah. Really? And yeah, they were not happy with No, that. they must have been like, what? <laughs> yeah, because I was doing all right. And they were like, oh, Luke, we can add you to the WhatsApp group so you can, you can learn the, the routes and everything. I was like, oh, I just had my noticing. <laughs> They must have been like, oh, I don't believe yeah. this. Then, I also asked, I was like, also, um, I can't actually do any more shifts because I kind of need to do the videos immediately. Yeah, They're yeah. They're like, right, okay, so you're just leaving today. I'm like, yes, yes. if that's okay. I'm off. <laughs> that's so. class though, isn't it? Because that's kind of, it would have been even better if it was one of those jobs that you just like, could not stand. Yeah. If it was one of those jobs where you were like, I cannot think of anything worse. I hate everyone here. Yeah. I'm gone. I suppose now, because they're both monetized, both channels, aren't they? Yeah. So you're, ju you're, you're sort of making an income from both of them. Then. I make double the amount on the wrestling channel than I do on the football man manager. No way. The, the last two months, yeah. Even though the it's wrestling one's channel. got 10,000. Yeah. And the other one's got 35,000. Yeah. Is that a CPM thing? Or down to views. Wow. Probably a lot to do with the videos are longer too. Right, okay. Um, but it's all down to the amount of views I was getting. I've That's got, nuts. I broke the record that I've ever had for the amount of views on a YouTube channel with the wrestling channel. Right. Within one month. No, so what is that? How uh, many so views? I had a million in one month. You've got over a million views on a... In, in the month of April, yeah. What? Yeah. So that, that, which I'd never done before. No. And I had, I think it was the record for the most amount of subs in 28 days because that's what you see on the YouTube analytics, Yeah, which was 6,400. Which wow. is the most, I've, I think the most before that on the FM channel was 2,500. That so is smashed nuts. It. When I was watching your, I watched the wrestling channel and I got well into it, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Because for me, like especially when I was growing up, I was the biggest WWE yeah. fan. Like, I've still got all the figures yeah, in yeah. my loft, everything, I've got the ring, all sorts. Yeah. Um, so for me, I was like, this is like, this is, this is a walk down memory lane. Yeah. Because I didn't realise there's people like Rey Mysterio still wrestling and still things around. like that. Yeah, oh, he wrestles with his son. Really? Yeah, his son's there. He's that's a tag nuts. team partner. I, that's nuts. And oh. is it, does he still do the 619? Yeah, they both do it on either side now. Do they? It's great. It that's is great. so yeah. cool. Very nostalgic. Yeah, too right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I grew up, we had a, me and my mate, we used, we had like a trampoline each mm. and we used to just like pretend that we were, we were like the best wrestlers in the world. I used to practice with my sister. Did you? Yeah. So Did, Was she? She was six years younger than me. <laughs> so when she was, when I was like, kind of like 10 and wrestling was like my favorite thing ever. Yeah. I used to just, she used to come in my room all the time. I was like, let me practice some moves on you loose. And she was like four. So she. She was just like, yeah, whatever. She was like starting gymnastics. No way. So I used to just like rock bottom, <laughs> suplex. <laughs> and then one day I thought I broke a neck. I didn't, but, you but I thought I did. Yeah. And that worried me and I thought, I'm not doing this I'm ever again. So I never did. Yeah. So I never did any other wrestling moves again until I started training. <laughs> so I suppose, I don't know if you'll be able to say, but what's next for, for the channel? Do you know, have you got anything on the horizon? Well, it's, it's it... kind of just like, keep it going. Yeah. Keep, keep on doing, just trying it. Cause like, I had a great month for the first month of the wrestling channel and yeah. then I've been hitting a lot of L's. Okay. Um, and then like the most recent video I did was a one out of 10, which in YouTube thing is a good thing. 
um, okay. when you hit a one out of ten. Yeah. And it's more of a case of like, just need to keep finding videos that are going to keep it growing, keep sure. it going till the next uh, like relaunch of the game. Yeah. For both games, hopefully. It comes six months between each other because if they come out at the same time, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Uh, if they both yeah. release new games at the same time, I'll be screwed. But yeah, that'll be a nightmare then, won't yeah. it? Yeah, you that'll just be like, right, I'm going to go away for two weeks. Yeah. You won't be able to see me. Yeah, I'll just yeah. be in a cave just making videos. Yeah. Well, all right, mate. Spot on, thank you very much. Brilliant. My first time in a, sh in a barber shop for about two and a half years. Really? Have you been doing <laughs> it yourself, have you? Since lockdown, I just shaved my own head. Fair so play. I had hair before, just wasn't a lot. Yeah. So. That saves money, mate. Exactly. It? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't got time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ain't got time. Too much content to create. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for being on a haircut with me. Thank you very much for having me. Been Thoroughly good. enjoyed it. Yeah. Cheers, no, been good to speak to you, mate. Legend. Cheers. Thank you. Subscribe. Do it. Legends. <laughs>